inventory, we we're going to be making a beautiful um, snowman swag. Um, so basically, this was a tree topper that I got at Walmart, but we stuffed it full of styrofoam. So he's got a piece of styrofoam all the way up into his hat. Because this used to be able to spring down, but we have a piece of styrofoam up in there. I got the green paper down because we don't want the frosty to get all dirty um, from the debris that, that's been on the table. So, um, so what I did was I got a swag here. I took the plastic um, end off. I'm going to uh, put some glue on here and then we're going to stick this in the bottom of um, Frosty here. And we're going to make a swag for a front door for winter. Um, so, guys, because things are Christmas does not mean that you cannot utilize them into winter for a little bit longer, especially snowmen. So, um, let's put a little bit of glue on this. And then we're just going to shove this. We'll make sure that frosty is straight. I'm just going to shove that right up into there. So just like that. Okay. Just like that. How cute is frosty? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put frosty off of the edge of the table over here while I add other picks in here. Okay. So frosty is hanging off the edge over there. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add uh, some more picks coming down. I'm going to um, wire in some, um, I'm gonna zip tie other picks in as well. So, um, so let me, okay, so I'm going to go right up into Frosty here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to spread this out. Okay, so I'm just going to pull this up. We're going to put a big, nice, pretty bow up here as well. Really nice, pretty bow. So I'm going to zip tie this right here. And guys, I apologize if the view is not perfect. Um, so I'm going to zip tie that part down right there. So these tree toppers that you have seen, you can use them for swags, okay? Um, they're perfect for this um, design, okay? So I have another one that I'm going to put down here at the bottom. I'm going to extend this to make it a little bit longer. I also have some um, branches. I may come out and make Frosty some arms. We'll see. Um, but, guys, by adding... Actually, I have another snowman. I'll show you what it looked like before we put the, um, the styrofoam up in his hat. Okay? It was just all hollow. right? So I cut a piece of styrofoam that was like a block stuck it all the way up in there and then I just put styrofoam here at the bottom. I glued it and picked it so it won't come out so we have a nice uh, foundation to glue into, okay? So, um, that's what we did. All right, so I'm going to extend this, okay? So you can see why I don't want Frosty's face or the head to get dirty. Um, if you have glitter or anything on your table, you want to make sure that it's really nice and clean. Um, we cleaned it, but Frosty's, the back of Frosty's head was getting a little bit of glitter and stuff on it. We didn't like that. So that's why we put the paper down. And this is just wax paper. Um, yeah, green wax paper. <laughs> I was having a moment. I was like, is it really wax paper? But it's green floral wax paper. All right, so I'm going to stick this up in here. weave it in y'all it's long enough actually it's long enough to glue all the way from the bottom all the way up to frosty's neck we can glue that in there that tells you how long it is How stinking cute is this? OMG. 
All right, so I'm gonna zip tie this to my swag as well. So we're gonna zip tie this. Y'all, right before, right before um, we went live, there was people in here singing to us. <laughs> Wishing us a Merry Christmas. Y'all would have heard that if um, <laughs> Ben's like, wait before you push the live button. Yep. He's like, wait. He's like, someone's bringing a guitar. And I was like, oh, it's carolers. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming to give us some Christmas spirit. They're actually really good singers. Yeah, they were. They were. You can play the guitar well, too. Yeah. All right. So, I don't like this right here. Looks like Frosty's got wings, and I don't like that. So I'm gonna cut that right there, and we're gonna glue this right back in, okay? At the bottom? Nope, right, under, right underneath the Frosty here, but we're not gonna come, look like he's got wings, right? We're gonna, that one was making him look like he had wings. All right. All right, so this is what we have so far, okay? And the reason that I have this um, styrofoam up in here is that I can actually put a hook up here now and hang Frosty on the door by the back of his hat. Before, I wouldn't have been able to do that, okay? All right, so we have that. So the next thing I want to do is I want to add in these beautiful berries. I love that they just straight. I think they're just so pretty and graceful enough. So it's more like a, a berry vine. How pretty is that? Mm -hmm. and it's just free flow, and that's what I want. I'm not going to intertwine them. I want them to free flow um, into my swag here. So I'm just gonna dip that in glue. Put that right there. Just let them free flow down my slide here. Just like that, okay? Then I also have another one that's gonna go up a little bit higher. I may have to cut a little bit, I have to cut this into two pieces. Cause this long piece right here, I want it to extend it a little bit farther down. That way it extends the berries down. Y'all, I have been into zip ties this past Christmas, or this Christmas, not past Christmas, this Christmas. I'm loving the idea of using zip ties. It is making things a lot easier. Um, also, if I need to take anything apart, I can take it apart. So look how pretty. That is with just those berries just free flowing into that, y'all. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, so again, we want to bring Frosty's white down. So we're gonna add some, they say it's baby's breath, but it doesn't look like baby's breath to me. But we'll say it's baby's breath. So again, we're just glue that in. So we don't need a lot, just a little bit. Just enough to bring that white into play here. Now 
gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous turning out to be. So guys, think outside the box when you see these tree toppers. How can I use that in my decor without using it as a tree topper, right? What can I do? To utilize that in a different way right Oops. There. we're gonna put our bow right there so it's gonna look like he has a little bow tie once we're done that now another thing that i thought about putting in here i have this beautiful peace sign that i got from walmart i'm thinking that i want to incorporate this somehow into this because it is so beautiful i think i want to place that right there i'm going to leave the bow on there it's cute and simple um it's about ready to come off so i need to glue it Guys, I'm just gonna let it hang from my swag, have free fall effect here, okay? So when I hang it on the door, it just hangs, okay? Um, I think that's gonna be so pretty on here. Now you won't get to see the full effect until I hold it up, but um, I think it's perfect for what we're doing here. I think it'll be gorgeous. And if I don't like it, guess what? I can cut this zip tie and take it out. Right? I can take it out of the arrangement. But I think that's going to be so cute hanging on this. What do you guys think? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Okay. So, we have some branches here. Y'all, Ross has got to have some branches. See, I thought about adding, adding some arms here, but I don't think I want to do that. I think I just want to incorporate the... The branches into my design. It has that frosty look. Yeah. It does have a frosty look. It does, it does. Alright, so of course we want to bend our branches. Oops, see that? I just ripped that off. Okay, put it back on. Okay, so you want to bend your branches, not break your branches. Okay. And then I'm just going to glue these right up into my design. And then I'm going to zip tie as well for extra security. Y'all, look how beautiful this is already. How these twigs just really bring the sign and snowman all together. You guys, if you we can do it this way too, we can feed this right through our product here, right up into our styrofoam. So there's several different ways that you can go about of adding product to your swag. Okay, so we're right here at Frosty. Put it in just like that. Take our glue gun, put a little glue on it just like that. Just enough to hold it. I'm gonna take this piece right here. I'm gonna let it come down. Actually, I cut it a little bit short. That one. We'll use that one at the top. I want this to come down a little bit over my sign. Just 
like that. So when this hangs, it has a little bit of those pine cones that are hanged right over the top of that. Get some of our glue, glue that in there. Okay, so now at this point, I think that what I wanna do is I wanna put my bow on here um, and then I'll finish it off with the, this um, pine cone uh, pick and plus this little bit of white that I'll glue into my ribbon. But this is what we have so far, guys, y'all. Look how stinking cute Frosty is. He's got his peace sign. Peace. All right, so let's put our bow on. So I'm going with all snowflakes. It matches the, uh, the black and white. So what it's going to do when I put this black bow up here, it's going to tie all of it together. Because right now we have a huge gap between the two, right? But once we put our bow on here, it's going to tie it all together. So I got black and gray. So I want to measure. I want that tail to come down right there. I'm just going to make a bow. I'm going to give Frosty a bow. We're going to cover up all of those ugly mechanics right there. And he's going to have a pretty bow tie. Pretty, 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 pretty bow tie. So we got four loops here. Okay. And then I also have the gray, which will pick up the gray in his scarf. So we're going to add some gray here. We'll do two loops of the gray. Okay, y'all. This is gonna be so adorable. Okay, so now I'm going to zip tie my bow. Just like that. So now I can go in And glue his bow tie right there y'all look how gorgeous frosty is so i'm gonna let his um scarf hang down and then i'm gonna glue that right there y'all frosty is gonna be gorgeous now i'll roll that up a little bit so yes he is going to me going to the ball in style. <laughs> Frosty will be be so handsome. He's ready for a date. All right, so I'm just going to green pin this into my styrofoam here. I'm going to run right through my ribbon, right into right there. I'm just um, green, using green pins to pin my bow in. And again, if I ever want to change my bow, take my bow off or whatever, I can. Fold this over. I'm just going to roll this up like that. I'm going to take this right here, twist it a little bit just to give it that little bit of this. And do the same thing. And I'm just going to roll this. So it kind of makes like a roll, so I'm not flattening it out, okay? So if you look at it, 
it's still round okay so I'm gonna leave it like that I'm not gonna smash it down so it looks like that little um, little swirl right there okay so we got that in place now another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put another loop right here or two more tails not a loop but tails we're going to do is we're going to add in this ribbon now oh, my computer's doing crazy stuff here there we go so i'm going to go right here because when this hangs this ribbon is going to um i want it to go underneath the side here so i'm going to zip tie this right here some stems. I'm going to zip tie that nice and tight right there. I was like, where's my cutters? It's right underneath here. Alright. Y'all, this is going to be so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. Alright, so I want to fold that over and then I just want to roll it. Again, I don't want to like smash it or anything like that. I just want it to look like a big curled piece of ribbon there. So we're gonna do the same right here. So we're gonna fold it and we're gonna smash that down, okay? To get it started. And then we're gonna lightly roll it. Same thing here. Hold it twice, smash it down so it's nice and flat, and then we're just going to roll this. Just like that. So, so we got that done. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to incorporate these twigs up here at the top into my bow. And we'll see if Ben will get me one more of these. Okay. If you don't mind. I don't mind at all. And I see a, like a spot where I want to include the one that Ben's getting us. There you are. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We added this ribbon right here. So I'm just going to glue this in. I want this to go right in here because the sign is going to go like right in there right so if that hangs over that that's really going to give it the effect that I'm looking for so we'll come right back in here glue that into place and guys there's nothing wrong with gluing things into your bow okay so don't feel like that you cannot do that it's totally fine putting a little, little bit of glue there just a little bit of extra security so now i have this light you know we have all this underneath but i feel like that we need to bring that to the top so let's do this right down into my bow So pretty. Okay, now we have our silver balls. It's more like a platinum color than more than silver. 
So you want to take their little caps off. Now you can wire these in or you can glue them in. I'm going to glue them in. I just feel like that is the fastest way. I'm just going to glue them right in. Put one right down here. my garland there, or to my base. And guys, it, they all, they don't, all of them do, do not have to be showing. Okay, you can have some of these that are tucked down in here. It's, it's different ways that you look at your swag um, that you're gonna see these down in your design. So don't feel like that you have to put them right on top of everything. We got one there. We'll put one right in here. Because our sign will hang like that. And I think I need to put one right over in here on this side. Because I have one on this side. So I feel like I need to put one over here, right underneath. And then we have a couple pine cones that we will use. All right, so I'm gonna put one right in here. And we'll probably wire these in because they are a little bulky. So I'll just take a piece of wire and just run it through the pine cone, letting the wire grip the pine cone all the way around, and then I just wire it in. Okay, just wire it in. So move it all the way through. I'm put a pine cone, or I need to put one like right in here. Yeah, that's where I need to put it. And I can glue that in. So let's glue this in. Right in there. Just like that. Okay. So, let me show you the finished result. We could keep going, but you know what? I think that if we keep going, it'll just be too much. I think we're at a perfect stopping point. It's a perfect, perfect. So when it hangs, it'll go just like that. Y'all, look how pretty this is. Awesome. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna zoom out so y'all can see. Look how pretty he is. Isn't he gorgeous? So you could put some silver poinsettias. There's all kinds of things that you could put in here um, with Frosty. But look how gorgeous he is. How pretty. How pretty, pretty, pretty. Whoops. Well, when it's on the door, it'll hang straight. Hang straight. Yeah. But look how gorgeous. I think it turned out amazing, guys. So let me know in the comments um, what you think. Um, if you want mine, hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn on your bell. So that way the next time I upload a video or go live, you get notified. Um, if you wanna get on my text alert system, um, just send me a text at 304-244-2708. But y'all, look how beautiful and how gorgeous this snowman um, swag turned out. Hey guys, well that's all I have for today. Hopefully y'all have enjoyed this tutorial and this video. Um, again, if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe. 
Um, so the next time um, I upload a video, you get notified. So y'all have a blessed day. Bye guys. Thank y'all so much for tuning in and watching my channel. Y'all, it means the world. So have a great day. Bye guys.